Alright, so in this problem, I have m to the power of 9 plus m to the power of 6 is equal to 36. So in the first, we write m to the power of 9 as m to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And we write m to the power of 6 as m to the power of 3 to the power of 2. And this is equal to 36. Now, I'm going to let m to the power of 3 equal to the variable t. So now I have t to the power of 3 plus t squared is equal to 36. Now if I subtract 36 on both sides, oops, sorry, these two cancel out and now I have t to the power of 3 plus t squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm just going to start, I actually need to find one value of t to find the rest. So to do that, I'm just going to start plugging in values. So if I plugged in 0 here, that would just be negative 36. If I plugged in 1, that wouldn't work. 2, that would be 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, plus 2 squared, which is 4, minus 36, which would not work. 3. That would be 27 plus 9 minus 36, which would work because 27 plus 9 is 36. So I have 36 minus 36 is 0, which is right. So t equals 3, that's, our, that's the value, that's one value of t. So now that we have that value, we can find the rest of the values. So what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to rewrite this as t to the power of 3 minus 3t three squared plus 4t squared minus 36 is equal to 0. And now, if I factor out t squared from t to the power of 3 minus 3t three squared, I get t squared times t minus 3 plus, now I have 4, times t squared minus 9. Now, this is the same thing as t squared times t minus 3 plus 4 times t plus 3 times t minus 3 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out t minus 3, I get t minus 3 times t squared plus 4t plus 12 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have t minus 3 is equal to 0, meaning t is 3, and t squared plus 4t plus 12 is equal to 0. And This is actually going to be result in no solutions. So t equals 3 is my only value. And remember how we set m to the power of 3 equal t. So if m to the power of 3 is equal to 3, this means that m is equal to the cube root of 3. Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite this, or sorry, I'm actually going to take the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. And the reason I did this was because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? And we want to find a value that when multiplied by 2 over 3 is equal to 1 because we obviously just want to find the value of x, and x is the same thing as x to the power of 1. So we want to make this 2 over 3 into a 1, and to do that, we need to multiply it with another number to make it 1. So that's why I multiplied with 3 over 2, because if you multiply 2 over 3, 3 over 2, these two are reciprocals, so they make 1. So now, because if I have something in the form a to the power of n to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n times n, x to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2, that's x to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, which is simply 1. And this is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. 
So I have x equals 16 to the power of 3 over 2, and we actually have to simplify this a little bit. So 16 to the power of 3 over 2, well, 16 is the same thing as 4 squared. So now I have 4 squared to the power of 3 over 2. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of n times n. So this is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2. Now these twos can simply cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 4 to the power of 3. Now 4, that's the same thing as 2 squared. So now I have x is equal to 2 squared to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3, or sorry, 2 times 3 is 6. So I have x is equal to 2 to the power of 6. And this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 squared, right? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So now I have 8 squared, which is equal to 64. So x is equal to 64. And that is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x minus 8 is equal to 8. So to solve this, I obviously want to find x. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x minus 8 is equal to 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x minus 8. And we can think of 2 here as m and x minus 8, the whole thing as n. So I can rewrite this as a to the power of m times n, or 2, since 2 is a, 2 to the power of x minus 8 times 2, and this is equal to 8. Now, 2 times x minus 8, this is equal to, well, I have to distribute the 2, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. So I have 2 to the power of 2x minus 16 is equal to 8. Now, to solve this, we want to make these two terms the same base. Well, right now the bases are 2 and 8, which aren't the same. So 2, this, this is the most simplified it can be, but 8, well... 8, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, right? And if we make if we turn this into 2 to the power of 3, then both of these terms are going to have the same base. So I have 2 to the power of 2x minus 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And now these two bases are the same. And now the reason we did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x minus 16 is equal to 3. So now I have 2x minus 16 is equal to 3, meaning 2x is equal to 19, and x is equal to 19 over 2. 